Hi guys, welcome to the video. I just want to take a few seconds to explain Hantech Minis. It's an idea that I came up with to take our masterclass videos, which are usually over an hour long, and carve out about a five or 10 minute section that covers one single topic. And that way you've got a list of videos that you can go to and you can find the exact topic that you're trying to learn about, one feature from Thinkorswim or some other trading platform that you're trying to learn and get right in, find out exactly how to use that part of the tool and then get right back to your workflow, okay? And so I just wanted to take a few more seconds here to show you how to access the playlist on the YouTube channel and also from our website where those videos are hosted. Okay, so the first thing I want you to do is go to uh, youtube.com forward slash at Hontech, all one word, and that will get you to our YouTube channel. Next, let me show you how to access the playlist. So you click right here under playlists and you see all of our created playlists down here and you see this one right down here, Hontech Minis Thinkorswim Scans. Okay, so you go ahead and open that up and then you will immediately begin to see uh, the videos there listed and, and pick whichever one that you want to watch okay and then uh, get right on back to your workflow now let me show you how to access this from our website okay so we go to our website this is hon-tech.com and you go to free tutorials okay and then you go to thinkorswim tutorials okay and then you go down here toss is short for thinkorswim so you go to toss minis so you open that up and then you can see here all of the videos are hosted right here and all you have to do is select one from the list here or you can select from the menu over here so our website is designed so that all of our videos are loaded by topic and you can easily navigate your way through and view all of our videos it's a lot easier than using youtube because youtube will want to try to sidetrack you into watching some other video so if you wanted to watch one in particular like for instance dynamic alerts mini tutorial then you've got access to it right there Okay, we're going to dive right in and get started. If you have modified your screen in any way, make sure you have saved any scans that you have built. But if you want to get back to this screen, then you go ahead and click up here in this menu right underneath the on demand. You click on that menu and select reset. It will not automatically save anything that you've changed here. And you go ahead and hit yes, and it will automatically refresh to the default view. So we want to start from here because everyone can get to this spot, right? The top level filters are the universe of stocks that the scan is going to look at to try to find the signals or the criteria that you add in the filter section. And this is very, very important because it plays an important role on how fast your scans process. So you want to use these top level filters and I'm just gonna highlight them right here. We've got three. So let's go ahead and review those. We have scan in and we have intersect with and exclude. So you have two top level filters that allow you to narrow down your focus of stocks you want to include in your scan results. And you also have a top level filter that allows you to exclude specific ticker symbols from your scan results. And let's go ahead and look at some of those options because we're going to be looking at public watch lists, personal watch lists, and saved scans. Okay, you can see right now it's automatically set to a category called all stocks. You see that's the default. When we hit the reset button, it automatically reverts to all stocks and the other two top level filters are blank. We're not going to review all of these, but I just want you to be aware of them and you go ahead and explore these on your own. You've got lots of different choices to pick from and you're going to have to make the decision based upon your own trading methodology, what you want to use as your top level filters to narrow your focus so that your scans run as quickly as possible, but also include all of the stocks that you are interested in reviewing. One of the top level filters combinations that I prefer to use are scan in all optionable intersect with all stocks because all optionable also includes futures as well as stocks and then I like to exclude all over-the-counter stocks now that's just a basic setup if you're a, a stock trader whether you're a swing trader or a day trader and all you're interested in are stocks that have 
good liquidity, good trading volume are regularly followed by other market makers and, and market participants, then this is a great way to set up your scan. So you want to keep in mind what is your target for your trading methodology and use this top level filter in a way that f reduces the universe of stocks down to only those stocks you are interested in. And I'm not sure anybody was watching, but did you see over here all the way over to the right hand column? You see the 474 matches here for these three stock filters. Well, what happens if we change that back to all optionable? Now you've got, we've got another 3000 to pick from. So this tells you immediately exactly how many stocks or ticker symbols are included based upon your selection of the top level filter. Okay, I also said that we could use a personal watch list. So let's go ahead and press the reset button again. And then we can go ahead and change the scan in from all stocks to any one of our personal watch lists. Now I have a personal watch list in particular that I want to pick. We're going to pick this one right here, pinning stocks. And you can see it consists of 46 stocks. How do we know that? Look all the way over here to the right, 46 matches. Now I've got a watch list already set up that displays these pinning stocks. And I want to show you the list of stocks here on the watch list, but then we also want to go ahead and run a scan so that you can see how my selection of the top level filter will impact the output of the scan. So let's go ahead and hit that little push pin so that way we can click and, act and actively work with the scan screen without our watch list disappearing behind the screens. See that little push pin right there, okay? And then let's go ahead and hit the scan button. Now we haven't really entered any filter criteria. You can see the three defaults, net change, volume, and percent change are all left blank. So we haven't really restricted anything. We have not applied a filter at all. And you can see that there are how many results? Right over here, just beneath the green scan button showing 46 of 46. And that's how many we have here listed in our watch list. So let's say we wanted to only identify stocks from our list that are greater than $100. Well, that's pretty simple. We'll just go ahead and take the first stock filter. Let's change it from net change to close. And we'll go ahead and adjust the minimum and we'll make it 100. And we'll leave the max blank. You notice immediately we can see we've got 21 matches. So we know that when we hit the scan button, it's going to return a list of 21 stocks from our watch list and only those that are over $100 in that price. Okay, so just to review very quickly, that's how you use a public watch list or a personal watch list as a top level filter for your scan. We'll go ahead and press reset here. And the next topic we're going to cover is saved scans. So if you go ahead and click the scan in top level filter and you go down here to personal, you're going to see some of these have special icons next to them. These little purple circle within a circle. Okay. Those are saved custom scans. And so you can actually build a custom scan, save it, and then select that custom scan as a top level filter. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the public watch lists that are actually saved custom scans. So you can notice here we've got percent gainers, percent losers, gap down. We go over here to the next section of public watch lists and we've got some more saved custom scans here. You see every single one of those that has that special icon is actually a scan that Thinkorswim has embedded within the scan engine that you can access anytime you need to. You know, all you have to do is select them as your top level filter. So if you wanted to look at uh, upcoming dividends or upcoming earnings, you've got lots of different dynamic watch lists that you can use as your top level filter. And when I say dynamic watch list, a dynamic watch list is a scan, okay, that returns a list of stocks. We can go ahead and look at percent change gainers. We can tell already that it contains a list of 50 stocks. We can press the scan button and return that list. And let's go ahead and check that. We'll bring in our watch list here. Notice it's currently set to 24 hour trading. That's another one of the built in public watch lists. 
So let's go ahead and change this to the public watch list matching our scan percent gainers and we can line that up and see that indeed the scan has returned a list of those stocks.